The purpose of this video is to go through cello sitting posture as well as how to adjust your end pin to the correct length. First, you want to find a good, hard, flat chair or bench. You do not want to sit on the edge of a bed or the edge of a sofa or other cushy chair. You want to make sure you have a hard, flat surface like a dining chair or other flat chair or something that doesn't have a back like a piano bench. You also want to make sure that the chair you use does not have arms as it will interfere with you when you play. The next thing you want to do is get your cello end pin to the correct length. I have my students put their cello in their lap with their left hand on the neck and then they're going to pull out the end pin. They can take a guess on the distance right now and the amount and I have them put it down on the ground and when they stand up the cello should reach to about their nose mouth area. It's a little bit different for some people depending on how your torso is versus your legs you might need a little higher or lower but this is a pretty good length to start. Then we sit down with the cello. We sit on the front edge of our chair, okay, the very front edge of our chair with our backs and our shoulders nice and tall. Okay, you want to think about if there are sit bones, you want to be on the front side of your sit bones. So you can think this is on the back side of our sit bones. We want to roll forward onto the front side of our sit bones. Then your feet are flat on the floor and your knees are making 90 degree angles. The cello is going to be right in front of you with that end pin at the correct length and you are going to lean it against your body. Both of your knees are going to hug the cello on the sides. The corners of the cello might go into your leg or they might not. You might be able to see on my right knee the corner is above and on my left knee the corner goes right into it. When I bring the cello back it's going to go on the left side of my body the top shoulders of the cello are going to go right towards my sternum chest area and then the cello, the scroll and the pegs are going to go right behind my head. You know you have the right position when you, if you move your head backwards, you hit this bottom peg right behind the back of your neck. It is not up here at the top of your head and it is not sitting down on your shoulder. There is room from your shoulder to the neck of the instrument. The peg is behind your left ear and behind your head and your cello is sitting comfortably. This should be a comfortable position. The cello should not be pushing you over and the cello should not be up too high and you are leaning and hiding behind it. It leans into your body. It has three points of contact, your knee, your knee, and your sternum, and the peg is behind your head. I hope that helps.